Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Avinanda and today I'm sharing with you how we do the mathematics for my grade 1 student in a Charlotte Mason way. So for mathematics we use this book of arithmetic which is by Rochelle Babarina for our grade 1 or form 1B. Let's take a look inside it. It's a very beautiful book that I have ever come across with well laid down lessons. It starts with very basic concept of numbers. As you can see it works through each number up to the number 19 and then it works through from higher numbers and this book is up to number 100. It helps the child to identify the numbers both physically and mentally. Say for example we are learning the number 2 and you ask the child to find the objects which are 2 in numbers and the child goes around the house and finds any object those are 2 in numbers. So you give the child sometimes certain number cards and ask to identify and so on. So we use objects around the house as manipulatives which I will show in a moment. Then the book also talks about the basic signs like equal to, plus sign and minus sign. Then the book also introduces the basics of money like penny and dimes. We use the real coins like these. We made this coin back by following the instructions given in the book which is a part of our handicraft lessons. It also covers the exam questions for each term. The reason I chose this particular book because it's like a nicely worded old school arithmetic book which deals with day to day problem solving like those you encounter at grocery stores and places like that unlike the ones that deals with you know just some numbers and equations and that's about this book let's see the other components of our math curriculum here is how I store the manipulatives these are the popsicle sticks or the craft sticks tied in tens bundle as asked to do in the book similarly these beads are in tens too I also have some other household or other objects for counting here I have some kidney beans and they are always there in my kitchen. I just put them in the manipulative box. Pables. Some buttons. Some of my son's spare Legos. Some fake jewels. And some colorful transparent counters. You can get anything that lies around the house and that's easily countable. You can put them in your manipulative box. Just make sure that the child does not play with them other times. Otherwise, they'll lose their interest in their lessons. I also have some single popsicle sticks for counting the units. I just make sure the manipulatives are really bright and colorful. So my student get really excited and happy about doing his math lessons. Now my son either use the chalk and slate to do the maths or a graded math copy occasionally. Writing the numbers or equations is not very often that is done in Charlotte Mason math as in the initial years of learning math the importance is to be given more to knowing the numbers than putting so much of stress on writing. Now for practicing more numbers or sums we use this book by Upton which is a book for grade 1 and 2. So let's check this one too. Now this book includes tons of problems on additions and subtractions which are covered for grade 1 and it also includes the problems on multiplications and divisions which will be covered primarily for grade 2. Now these are the primary resources that we are using for our math curriculum and if you have any doubts or query regarding these please ask in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you with the next one. Till then take care. Bye.